You may not like politics, but politics likes you. I'm Katie Beck. And I'm Tim Duffy. And we're two young voters who are concerned for the future of America. We want to do our part in restoring the American dream and putting our nation back on track. Right now, voter apathy and faith in government is at an all-time low, and not without merit. Right now, our student loan debt is topping $1 trillion. Our national debt is approaching $16 trillion, and each individual's share of that debt is $50,000. There are simple solutions to these massive problems, and we went straight to the man who is working to put our future back on track, Congressman Paul Ryan. He is working to get our generation out voting, involved, and making a positive difference in America. We're at a major inflection point, the proverbial fork in the road. Uh, and it's and it's a function of a tipping point of debt math and a moral tipping point. Um, you know, we we could become a cradle to grave welfare state in the not too distant future if we stay in the path we are on, which erodes the, uh, basically those great foundations of, of America, civil society, liberty, freedom, free economy, uh, the things that make us great. Congressman Paul Ryan has worked tirelessly to form a solution to restore our national prosperity and ensure that young people have an equal or better life than our parents. I'm here because uh, I want to make a difference. I believe in the principles that built our country, uh, what Heritage Foundation stands for. I want to be here long enough to make a big difference and to know that I look back on my life and I made a big difference for liberty and freedom in the cause of America. Congressman Ryan's path to prosperity will cut $6.2 trillion in government spending. His solution will create lower tax rates while simplifying the broken tax code by eliminating loopholes that so many corporations and individuals take advantage of. The great thing about America is we have these regenerative principles and policies and qualities. That means we can fix this mess. Uh, the problem is um, we're starting to run out of time to fix this mess. And we believe if we give the country a really clear choice of two futures in this next election, um, then we'll have the moral authority to reclaim this country in, after this next election. His solution will take us back to an opportunity society, giving all the ability to innovate, thrive, and compete. But our generation will have to make the right choice for our future and stand behind Congressman Ryan to make this a reality. You can do so much to spread the ideas of liberty, of economic freedom, of civil society uh, to, to your generation so that we can take back our country from what I would say is an ideology that seeks to transform the country from something it was never intended to be. In order to rebuild the American dream, government cannot pick the winners and losers and therefore make prosperity. Government needs to create opportunity and that opportunity creates prosperity. Look at, look at what Heritage has put out with their American mm -hmm. dream. It's very, very similar to what we put out in our Path to Prosperity with my yeah. map budgets. It does a lot of great things on how we can reclaim our country, get back to prosperity, keep the promises to current seniors. What's exciting to me uh, about the youth is that people are becoming reacquainted with our country. They're becoming reacquainted with those principles that built this country. They're becoming reacquainted with those founding principles, with the founders. And what's it, what it, what it, which is really exciting to me. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. 